Right, first thing in the morning, down by the coast, I'm going to shoot the pier here at Llandidno. Uh, and it's well before sunrise, but I'm going to get cracking and see if I can get some shots in near darkness. Well, I've already switched position. I was uh, a little bit, um, a bit off with my angle there, I think, shoot, shooting towards the, uh, the end of the pier. So I've come to a position where I can go down the pier a little bit more, yet still have it cutting in at the side of the frame, otherwise it will look a bit, um, a bit less dynamic, I think. Well, I've actually taken a shot with my 150mm lens, now I've remembered to bring it to the coast with me. And because it's a fairly distant subject and there's no foreground, I've managed to shoot at f8, which is highly unusual for me with such a, a long lens on a large format like this. And the exposures were four seconds initially. Now, I think I can allow myself a bit more exposure because there aren't too many highlights in there apart from those, those lights on the pier. So I've also gone for a second exposure at eight seconds. Now I'll be honest with you, I'm really not used to shooting in such dim conditions with film. It is tricky, in the past I have come out with digital, but uh, you know, I love film. And uh, I'm also shooting this morning with Provia. Now Provia slide film has a bit more latitude than Velvia. It's going to give me a little bit more leeway and allow me to hopefully capture some of that dynamic range once the sun comes up. But, uh, oh, sorry, just a squirrel. But to be on the safe side, I have got my uh, graduated filters with me, so when the sun does pop up, uh, fingers crossed, I'll be able to uh, tame it uh, by a couple of stops. Well, while I'm waiting for something to happen with the light, and uh, I'm not too sure now, to be honest, the reason I've come with the Bronica today and not something like the large format is focusing. Now, I find it very difficult to focus the large format cameras in dim light. However, I think today I may have got away with it because there are tiny pinpoints of light on the pier. Obviously, it's lit up, and they would have been a good aiming point for focus. But the other reason I didn't bring the large format is because the forecast was for a thunder and lightning any time now. And setting that thing up in the rain would just not have worked. Whereas the Bronica, I've got a plastic bag, I could carry on working even if it was chucking it down. Now, to be honest, nothing's really happening with the light. It may get a bit of a glow, but uh, we are a oh, bit bright. We are around about sort of sunrise now, and if it's not going to happen in the next 10 minutes or so, it ain't going to happen at all. So I'm going to try something a little bit different, I think, different subject matter altogether. Now, to be totally honest with you, I am not convinced with this composition. However, it is something different and it's no use me just banging away shooting the pier on its own. So I've included the very bright, uh, the light here in foreground, which isn't in the ideal position, but then again, I've got a concrete uh, pillar behind me, so I can't move into the right position for the shot. So I've taken a couple of frames, a quarter of a second and a half a second, just to try and balance it out. Um, yeah, it, it is worth a go. I've come a, an hour's drive, so 
rather than just repeat myself, I'll, I'll take a chance and do something which might result in a good shot. You never know. Having enjoyed using the 250mm long lens on the Bronica when I went out on that canal trip a few weeks ago, I have decided to bring it along with me, maybe keep it in the car for those times I'm not going to carry it, but I'm just cropping in right on the end of the pier. It's, it's a study of the end of the pier. Again, it's no great artistic merit. It's just something a little bit different again. I've got a variety of shots from my roll of Provia this morning. And uh, yeah, I quite like it actually because it is very, very simple and there's a nice balance within that square frame. Well, having uh, burned off the last couple of frames on my roll of Provia, just to use it up, I've, uh, I've just used the 250mm lens on a couple of close studies of the pier structure itself. Nothing special again. The light has completely deserted me. It's far worse than when I arrived. It's gone very murky and very gloomy. It's going to be very warm today. Shot a roll of Provia. I'll get it home, get it developed. Um, yeah, it's been a really nice morning to come out though. Again, I'm getting my metering technique better. I'm getting used to uh, assessing different situations in different lighting conditions, being a bit more confident, I think, with film in low light. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much for coming along again, and I'll see you soon.